scare in Montgomery County after someone calls in a bomb threat to police. Wissahickon's high school and middle school went all virtual just in case. Marcus Espinosa live outside Wissahickon Middle School and officials say similar threats have been sent around the country, Marcus. Hey, Jason. Yeah, the Wissahickon community and school district at large obviously feeling a little bit better today than how they felt around six o'clock this morning. But as you mentioned it there, it seems to be almost a trend at this point where schools are getting called in for bomb threats, wasting resources from law enforcement and the school district. It's a scenario every police department trains for, but hopes they never have to live out. This morning around 630, Montgomery County dispatch received a phone call of a bomb threat in the area of Wissahickon High School and Wissahickon Middle School in Lower Gwinnett Township. Wissahickon School District Superintendent Jim Crisfield put out a statement early Wednesday morning announcing the district would be all virtual that day in an abundance of caution. He went on to state this was likely never a real threat saying, quote, this was a hoax with several characteristics that matched exactly those found in similar schools across the country. Beth Sanborn is a detective with the Lower Gwynedd Township Police. She can confirm this appeared like a ruse early on. We're still investigating it. However, a few hours after the initial event, we were able to determine that there was no one in the immediate area and that there were no devices found and that nobody was in risk. Chelsea Katz is a mom of a newborn. She says hearing news of this incident, whether it turned out to be a hoax or not, is still frightening. Um, very shocking and scary. You know, I feel like this neighborhood and community is um, very close and safe, and for something like that to happen here is just shocking. Detective Sandboard said there were pretty clear indications early on from the caller that lessened the threat's credibility. He didn't give a specific location, nor did he provide any specific information about the community, which was one of the first indicators that this may have been a hoax and that there wasn't actually someone in our immediate area. And Jason, the police department also recognized the dispatcher who answered the call and did a good job remaining calm and gathering as much information as possible. As far as classrooms and school goes tomorrow, they will resume in person learning here at Wissahickon Middle School and High School at the levels that they were at for COVID restrictions. Jason. Mark.